Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I will be telling you guys all about my Turkish wedding. If you saw my previous video about Turkish weddings I told you guys all about the traditions here in Turkey and everything uh, of the process. So if you are curious about that I will link that video somewhere up here. But for today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys all about my own wedding. So for the people who are new here, I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey for about five years now. And I've also been married for five years with a Turkish man. And I can't believe that it's already five years ago since I got married. The time does go so fast when you're having fun. Today I will tell you guys all about my wedding. But first of all, if you are new here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. And now let's get started. So let's just start with the beginning. Um, I moved to Turkey in 2016 and I also got married in 2016. So when I moved to Turkey, my husband and I already knew that we were uh, getting married. Um, but of course we didn't know when and how so when I moved to Turkey I believe like a few months later we already got married and we did that at City Hall I remember that it was a really lovely day the weather was so nice and yeah there were not a lot of people there mostly close family from my husband my family was not there unfortunately because we decided to get married for the law first and then we threw a wedding party uh, one year later that was because the summer was already approaching and here in the Marmaris area in the summer everybody is working because most of the people are working in tourism so in the summer uh, people are always working and there are no weddings basically so we decided to just get married at city hall with just a few close family members and yeah it was really lovely i had a black dress and i'm not really sure why black <laughs> It sounds maybe a bit depressing, but yeah, I wore a big dress and that dress I also wore in like a pageant and I thought it was just a really nice dress and I thought for the wedding party I will wear like an official white wedding gown. So a really funny story, my sister-in-law told me before we were getting married that I had to touch my husband's feet when we were saying yes to each other. If the woman touched the man's feet, um they, she's the boss over him basically i mean that's what people told me so i tried to touch his feet but my husband already knew it so he had his feet behind the chair so it was really difficult to touch them but i did it so yes that's a really fun little tradition and we were having cake and just like a little reception so that was quite nice nothing too fancy at all but um, yes, we were married. Then one year later, on almost the same day, we had our big wedding plans. Like I already said in my previous video, Turkish weddings are always really big and over the top. Uh, so I knew like lots of family members from my husband would come. And not only family members, like also far family and friends, like basically everyone they know. In Turkey, it's really rude to not invite people to your wedding. So I know there were basically like 600 people or even more. So the first thing that I had to do is choose a wedding dress. And at the time in Marmaris, there were not many uh, bridal shops at all. So I went to the ones that were in Marmaris. But like I said, Turkish girls love things over the top. So all of the dresses were tight here and then like an explosion. <laughs> They were like super big princess and that's just not my thing at all. I had in mind that I wanted a nice fitted dress with like lace sleeves and I couldn't find anything like that at all. So after we went to a city close to Dalaman and there were like a few bridal shops over there. So the first shop where we went to was again a really big shop. All of the dresses were basically huge. They were again tight here and then an explosion and some with lace, some with glitter. But I just didn't like it at all. It was just too big for me. And then after I saw in the same city a really little shop with a few dresses. And I thought, okay, let's go over there. And then I saw my dress that I chose. And I didn't try anything at all except that dress. It was still quite big, but it was really timeless with like lace and like a heart-shaped neckline. And I was in love when I saw that dress. So I tried it on and I thought, yes, this is my dress. I don't have to look any further. I'm going to marry in this. So yeah, I was really happy with that. I called some family members while I tried it on because of course I was in Turkey and they were in the Netherlands. 
and yeah they all said the same that I looked really nice in it so about the wedding location uh, there were also not too many options um, you can marry in some hotels but it's quite expensive and it's not that big so not many people can come over there so we booked the big salon here in Marmaris the big wedding salon and it's like a theater as well and I believe most of the people here in Marmaris marry over there so we booked that one and I have to say I didn't choose a lot of things over there you can choose like purple or fuchsia pink and I love pink but it was just so bright and I went with purple and like I said I couldn't choose a lot of things like about decoration or anything but yeah it was all right so on the big day itself uh, unfortunately not many people of my family could come um, which is quite sad my mom unfortunately also didn't come because she's sick um, but the people who were there were my father, my sister, her husband or boyfriend at the time and two of my friends. So not that many people of my side and that's the only thing that I'm a little bit sad about. So on the actual wedding day we woke up, we had breakfast and I went straight to the hair salon. So I knew I wanted a really classic hairstyle as well because I feel like if I look back on my photos later I would be still happy with like the look so I wanted a really simple up though like a bun and the front like to the back and I will insert a picture and I think he did such a nice job uh, yeah, I really love my hair and it stayed all day perfectly it didn't go loose at all so yeah I was really happy with my hair so I already knew that I wanted to do my makeup myself because I just know what I like and Turkish girls like I said before they love dramatic so the makeup is really dramatic as well and I just wanted a really natural look um, so I did it myself so first I went to the hairdresser and then after I just did my makeup if you would like to see a tutorial of how I did my makeup yeah let me know in the comments down below so I can uh, recreate that look and then I found a female photographer and I just really like her pictures so during the day we went to all different locations in Marmaris and outside of Marmaris to take photos first we went to the castle in Marmaris and we had like a photo shoot over there and then we went to Akiaka and the outside of Marmaris and maybe if you've been to this area you know it and it's so beautiful over there and yeah I couldn't be any happier with the photos I just love how they turned out and it's such a nice memory full day of taking photos we were both exhausted but then of course we had the wedding party all evening so we went to the location and everyone was there already and then we came into the salon and the music was playing everyone was sitting there and I was so nervous because all eyes are on you and your husband so yeah I was quite nervous and we did our opening dance it was actually a really nice turkish song and after we danced all night the turkish way and yes we all had a really lovely time everyone looked beautiful all the women were like in beautiful dresses and yeah it was just so much fun to dance all night and we had traditional turkish music so i danced with everyone and it was just so much fun so yeah this was basically my wedding and let me know if you have any more questions and like i said if you haven't seen part one about all the turkish traditions i will link it somewhere up here but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i upload twice a week every wednesday and saturday and of course you can also follow me on instagram and i hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye